So before this video starts, I just wanted to say thank you for all the support that you guys have been giving me on the Rabbit Build series. It's really kept me motivated to continue to uh, further this build and keep uh, the parts coming out as quick as possible and just trying to get this car up and going. Um, I actually have the goal. I graduate from college on May 5th, so Cinco de Mayo, and my goal is to have this car running and driving so I can drive it to my graduation. And I'd really appreciate it if you guys would subscribe and uh, keep me motivated to keep this build going and to provide you the high quality content uh, and to keep upping my quality as I go on and keep making these parts of this video series. Now that's out of the way, let's get into the teardown video. I can see there's a decent amount of oil coming out of at least this cylinder but it looks like kind of all of them have some decent amount of oil coming through them so and on the intake side looks like the valves are decently caked up in there so don't look too bad timing guide. The 
this engine would have not been long for this world had I not ripped it apart, because uh, that is uh, not good. The tensioner, the guide is not guiding anything anymore. Oh, hey, just might as well just take it off. Obviously there's oil in these two cylinders here, just chilling. Um, but honestly, the cylinder walls don't look that bad. Like, I don't see any like scoring or anything. Like they, they honestly, they look pretty clean. So, you know, like that's crazy. Don't buy plastic impellers. This obviously displays one of the things that does suck about running a VR in a Mark One is that the oil pan sits so low. And uh, obviously, the previous owner was uh, probably doing some uh, rock crawl crawling with this car. Uh, as you can see, the pan is pretty destroyed, pretty scratched up, and uh, also a big old dent right there. So I'll be getting a new pan. We have a piece of wood because nobody ever shows how to do this. So a piece of pressure treated wood jammed in there with the counterweights. And then we have the we have the old Daytona jack handle. And just to give a simulation of what you did to break it free. <laughs> this far in the video thank you so much for watching um like i said in the beginning of the video i really appreciate all the support that you guys have been giving me on this video series so far please remember to like subscribe and i will see you in the next part which will be rebuilding the vr6